right friends so basically this is the second part of uh, and the continuance of the last part that i have uh, shot on uh, the import export wizard so that was the simple uh, push of data that we saw the, and in, the, in this part what we will do is when the table is already existing and there is some identity identity uh, value already there so what i do is i create another table on the second instance of the sample db with the name import tab and uh, I create this table. I I push. Uh, well, let me just do one more thing. I'll drop this first. Okay. I put the identity value here uh, also as initial one comma one. Okay, and then I just create this, and then I push two values into this table right so in this table imports tab we have two values which is pointing in such and so uh, and, and we uh, have in our source uh, uh, table which uh, we will be pushing is right and and, and uh, these these are the this is our source table and we'll be pushing it into uh, the imports tab table uh, we'll be adding those two records from that uh, from that table and and what we see there is there is the identity column in, in both of these table that is the id and both of the values of identity column is one and two now let's see how we uh, how we do it and how it's supposed to be done uh, again uh, as i said uh, let's go to the task and say import or export data okay last time we had done an export so uh, let's try to do import this time I mean, I'm cancelling this. Uh, I'll go to the des destination where we are, uh, where we want the data to be, and say import data. Import data, right? In the import data, you'll say you'll say the source source server name and the source database name. The source database name is uh, dev. And this is our source. We are importing data from this database into our destination, second instance, and, and the sample DB, right? And we are going to pull the entire data from that uh, from from a table. So we'll go with the table, not with the query. Next, we'll say our check the table name, and we will say the table is already existing. We will point it to import tab. right see the change the, uh, there has been a change in the icon if, if you if you notice it if you are trying to create a new table it will it will uh, it will be a little different one so so now let's go to the mapping and you'll see append rows it is it is not saying create destination table it's going to append rows to the destination and it is uh, it's going to put it uh, put it there so so and, and the schema of the table is as as there so uh, there is this uh, checkbox enable identity insert which actually means is is uh, from the source whatever is the value of the identity column uh, we want to keep the same into the destination which means if the value was is, is one and two we want that value to be pushed so if you want the same value you need to check it otherwise just leave that but uh, i will will take a look how that happens for now let's un keep it unchecked and say OK and go on to next next and finish you'll see there is an error because uh, the reason is there, there is an identity column I, I really uh, I desperately wanted uh, you people to see this error because there is an identity column in there and you want to insert a value in the identity column so in, in that case you have to actually check the check the box and then say enable identity insert but st uh, still we are going to receive an error I, uh, because the values are, are going to be matching and both, both we have two tables with two records uh, and the identity values are one and two in both of them so let's see
it has actually pushed the data with uh, removing the identity uh, table uh, tables uh, schema so it has pushed the data with the same value so so in that case we are actually getting getting uh, uh, duplicate identity values so if you refresh this and now So just push the data with the same value into into, into your uh, destination uh, or your where you want the uh, I mean a destination table. So so in that case, if you are trying to push an identity value, uh, be very sure that the, that the value is already not existing. If you check the uh, check that because it's going to turn the identity insert off and then push the data for that moment. Uh, and in and in that scenario, you are uh, you are going to get some duplicate values if that identity identity data is not already uh, is, is already existing. So that was the point I was trying to make here. So be careful while you're doing uh, doing this uh, via your import export wizard. So if uh, now if we just try to insert one more record. So it takes the value three, but still uh, you have two records which are duplicate, which have duplicate identity IDs. So that's that's going to persist. So that was the point with with identity insert uh, while you are trying to uh, move data from import export wizard. So uh, and and apart from that, uh, this is nothing but a simple SSIS package, if you if if you will. And in in this scenario, we have used SQL Server tables to tables push. You can actually push or pull data from um, various uh, data sources like uh, like uh, Excel sheets or uh, texts um, and and like CSVs. So all all of them can be used as a source and a destination to import or export data to and from. So uh, I, I, if I get time, I'll I'll try to bring out each of them and and show how that works. But as of now, this was the uh, important feature, uh, important feature, and the important uh, aspect of the feature which I wanted to throw light upon and, and get you people ac acquainted to. So I uh, hope it's it's good uh, going from here, and you, and you are uh, you are careful while you are trying to uh, have some identity data uh, pushed or pulled in. Thank you, friends.